the first thing we want to do is to identify our variables from the problem. 13,000 represents the principal. R is our interest rate, and we have to remember to change it to a decimal. N is how often we're making payments, monthly payments. There are 12 months in a year. T is the amount of time that we're paying the loan over, which is four years. In the calculator, we want to enter the numerator first. So we will take 13,000 and multiply that by our interest rate, 0 0.06, divided by N, our monthly payment is 12. Now we have the answer for just the numerator. And now we're going to enter in the denominator second. A bracket is the same exact thing as parentheses. So we're going to enter the formula and substitute in our variables. R, 0 0.06, N, 12. Make sure to close our parentheses. Now, here's our exponentiation button. When you raise anything to the power on an old operating system, you have to remember to add parentheses. Then we make sure to close our other parentheses. Now this is the value for just the denominator. So we want to take the numerator, 65, divide it by that previous line. And to make an easy step for us, we're going to press second enter in order to get answer. So that way you don't have to type in 0.2129 all over again. So here's our final answer. Our monthly payments, we will pay $305.31. Total interest, we paid $305.31 every month for four years. So if we take $305.31 times 12, that represents our months, times four, that represents our years, we have a total of $14,000. Since our original loan was only $13,000, that means the amount of overage represents the interest, how much money we're paying to the loan company or to the bank for allowing us to use that money. So if we subtract the original loan amount, $13,000, from how much we actually paid, this will give us our total interest.